In the AEC collections, you now get Former, and this is a great tool to work with Revit and InfoWorks data. Here, I want to set up a coordinate system that connects between all the different softwares. So in Revit, I can use the former information to set up my GIS coordinate system. Here, I'm working in Australia in zone 56. By using former, when I bring the data into Revit, it will set up my latitude and longitudinal information. And this corresponds to the information that you can set up inside a twin motion over here on the right. The negative 33, 151 for the latitude and longitude corresponds with the coordinate system that I have in Revit. So here in former, I have used the free data sources to order some data, some open street map data, and it is pulled down topography, aerial imagery, roads, whatever's free within the data system I'm getting it from. I've just created a basic model here. So I'm just working with the basic building sketch tool and I want to send this information to Revit. I hit the send information Revit button and then I can load that proposal inside of Revit 2024. This will then load in the elements like the topography, the aerial imagery, and the model. I can look at the textures and see that that data has come across. And then here in the site plan, I can see my northings and easting data. When I go to my massing and site, look at my location and site, I can see here is the longitude and latitudinal information that I need to set up. I can then go into InfoWorks and I can use that information to set the location of the model. The model will display here inside InfoWorks. So this is the Revit model. Sometimes this might work better as an FBX model. It all depends on materials and the location. But here I can place that and it will appear inside of InfoWorks. So that's one way to set up information so it is JS coordinated across tools in the AEC collection.